I'm Barbara Ryan. For a few of you who might not know me, and I have the privilege of being the chair of St. Mary's Little Theater and also the director of this evening's show. I wanted to send out a special birthday tonight to Debbie or Kalina. Where's Debbie? Happy birthday, Debbie. And also somebody very, very special and dear to our heart. He's a, he's a volunteer for the train, and he's the father of one of our actors. We call him Pappy. Pappy Gans is 83 years old today. Hey, Pappy, happy birthday. We are so proud to present to you tonight, Crippen, the world premiere by the St. Mary's Little Theater here at Theater by the Tracks. And we've, you know, not me, but all these other people have worked so hard to put it together for you. Um, you know, their names are in the program, and I'm not, I, I can't name them all because we have a crew and cast of almost 80 people, but please look in the program, recognize them. If you see them on the street, say, hey, thank you so much for being part of the community theater. We have so much going on here at the theater. We have the trains. How many of you ridden the train? I have no idea where that comes from, but it always comes up. We have the Pirate Express coming up in May, so if you haven't ridden the train, it'll be a fun time to do that. Um, we have something special coming up. It's our season opening, opener in September. Uh, there's schedules for the train and the St. Mary's Little Theater out there on the counter. I think there's some down here, too. Please pick one up. But it says that our season opener is going to be fan of the opera. Well, we were not able to... Shall we get that? We were not able to obtain uh, United States rights for that show because they're about to go on tour. But that's okay because we have something even better. It's the number one, the, the most popular show today, and that's Les Miserables. So I know we got... <laughs> Are we crazy? Some little community theater doing Les Miserables? we we got to be crazy. Anyway, we do pick up the cards for the, the, the train schedule. We have everybody has worked so hard again from makeup to lighting to our tech crew, uh, our stage manager, sound tech, and of course our actors. And, and we have a huge crew here. So we appreciate that tonight you will appreciate them and we appreciate your applause. I thought I heard another train. <laughs> this is your community theater. We hope you'll get involved. You know, come on the stage and do some acting. See how the other half lives or volunteer. We always need ticket takers or uh, fundraising is, you know, is always a challenge. It costs a lot of money to run this theater. So please, uh, there's, a, there's in your program, it tells you how you can get involved and we'd love to have all of you do that because it is your theater. Okay. Where am I? Should have brought my glasses with me. Do have some um, housekeeping details. First of all, take your cell phones out and turn them off. You know how disturbed I am in the middle of a romantic song. There are a couple of those tonight, and we hear um, things like Brick House and Love Shack and all that. So please turn your cell phones off in, in deference to our, our actors. Um, the restrooms are up at the front. If you could possibly wait until intermission, which is just about an hour into the play, to use the facilities, we would appreciate that so much. But hey, if you got to go, you got to go. So just be careful when you do. Make sure you hold on to the handrails and look down. Uh, we want to make sure everybody goes home safe tonight, okay? I don't think there are any little children in the audience. Hopefully not, because this is not a little children's show. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about that. You're welcome to take photographs. Just please, no flash. We don't want to endanger our, our actors. So no flash. But however, the actors will be in the lobby and up here afterwards. You can take flash then if you do want to get a particular uh, shot of someone. This is such a fun show because it interweaves real history. It's a true story, of course, but it interweaves so many historical facts uh, that happened during this time period. You'll hear a character tonight named John Michael Hayes. And John Michael Hayes was actually named, uh, this character was named after... Um, Alfred Hitchcock's head writer. John Michael Hayes' son, Corey, is here uh, ushering tonight. He was down there. So thank you, Corey, for allowing us to use your, your father's name. And you'll be meeting Alfred Hitchcock in just a moment. So on the 1st of February, 1910, Dr. Holly Harvey Crippen, a 48-year-old American, murdered his wife in London. And he proceeded to bury her parts all over town. 
And so begins this explosive true story brought to life by Jacksonville resident David Pooler. St. Mary's Little Theater proudly presents the world premiere of Crippin'. 